Surprise, motherfuckers. I am still alive. My dogs are assaulting me. Um, yeah, man. Sorry. Just been really busy. Haven't really cared to make videos, uh, even with um, JMK and Cat. But here I am. A couple weeks late. But JMK and Cat videos. It's old news now, but whatever. Just pumping something out. I just showered and my dog is licking all the moisture from my hair. Well, one of them is. And the other one is just wrestling with the bed. Um, yep, being a dog. Ah! That was my ear, Rose. Um, being a dog dad, that's what you're used to. Zero personal space. Zero privacy. I mean, my dogs try to jump into the shower, n nudge their way into the bathroom. <sighs> so, anyway. Uh, yeah, man, just uh, been really busy work-wise, personal life-wise, I guess. Didn't really care to make anything. Did have a couple of guys message me, you know, wondering if I still made videos. A couple of my GAC opponents. Um, so that was nice to hear from a couple of people that I otherwise hadn't spoken to before. So appreciate you guys reaching out, making sure I'm alive. Um, I am still running my account. Imagine that. Uh, been trying to spend a lot less, although I failed miserably with that today with, uh, Executor coming out and there will be an Executor, uh, video forthcoming after this one. Um, so to the surprise of no one, JMK and Cat are lights out in TB, um, which is great because TB before JMK and Cat was an abortion. Um, super RNG dependent. Um, even with like great mods and great relics, like a lot of RNGs you know, still, uh, again, JMK and Cat, of course, alleviate a tremendous amount, if not most of that. Um, yeah. <clears throat> JMK and Cat in Arena, pretty good. Um, still, still beatable, obviously, with mirrors, but outside of that, uh, pretty stout. Pretty stout. I, I do love with Cat that you can just uh, one-hit KO sniper droids because sniper droids are the bane of everyone's existence. Rosie, how are you panting and out of breath when you've been licking all the water out of my hair? She's such a weird dog. She's so cute. She's so weird. Um, yeah, so, you know, just let the footage roll uh markets have been surprisingly good for the most part june was kind of choppy uh, at least for me um or maybe it was no it was july july was choppy for me august has been pretty good june is actually pretty good for me july was choppy um i mean i was talking about this with my boss because he picks my brain for picks like stock picks every now and then and it've kind of been at like peak everything for months, right? So uh, all the increases, um, it's like, and people ask me like, oh, what's good here? What's good here? I'm like nothing, nothing has been good. Nothing has really been appealing for months, but yet the markets continue to climb. Rosie, oh my God, um, the markets continue to climb defies logic, defies expectations, but yeah, uh, I mean, zero interest environment. Okay, go drink some water then. Um, and that's where we are and have been and will continue to be. I mean, don't get me wrong. I think a 10% correction uh, at any point uh, is a distinct possibility, if not a high probability. But uh, I continue to be wrong. Um, like I said, July was a little bit rough for me. I definitely 
pulled back a little bit in July, as did most of the broader markets. But we're now at successive all-time highs again, and again, and again, and again, and again. So it's very strange. Uh, there are very few things left, in my opinion, that look appealing or appetizing. Um, part of me wants to look at uh, Intel, just because they've lost so much market share and their share price has taken pretty significant hit. So part of me wants to look at Intel for a potential rebound, um, but they just have such a steep hill to climb. I just, I don't know if I feel like risking it. I mean, if I had, uh, if I felt like putting in more money, which I don't, I would probably put into that. Uh, I've also been, uh, I also initiated a very small position in PXFX. Um, I'm sure you've never heard of it. I'm sure you've never heard of it. Just, just look it up. Uh, it's not something that I ordinarily would go after, but a buddy recommended it to me. So I figured, why not? I'll just dabble in it just a skosh little bit. By the way, these battles are for the entirety of TB. Um, I figured I would just pump, pump out a video with all of them in there together um, rather than put them out piecemeal because that requires me to sit down or lay down for a much longer period of time. Um, I've also, part of the reason why I have been uh, absent is because I've been watching a lot of baseball. A um, lot of baseball. COVID, I, I, so I played baseball in high school. I got recruited for baseball to a couple of D3 colleges. Nothing crazy, nothing super impressive by any means. But uh, I used to very much love baseball and definitely fell out of love with baseball due to the rampant steroid cheating uh, for a good long while. Basically, after I graduated high school, I, I stopped following or paying attention or giving a shit about baseball. But COVID has brought me back to baseball um, I am unfortunately a, a Mets fan, so that alone right there uh, gives you an idea of where I am in terms of happiness. Uh, this was a little bit different. This was, uh, I wanted to put Cat with Ray because when she shares offense, it's just, it is just savagery. Um, but so, yeah, I, I am a Mets fan, and that is uh, a tale of woe in and of itself for a number of reasons. Um, but, yeah, I've been watching a lot of baseball, and obviously baseball games are, you know, long. Uh, and so I just haven't had the time to make a lot of videos, certainly not while I'm watching baseball. And then afterwards, I'm just way too tired and mentally drained because... I'm, again, a Mets fan. Um, so, yeah, uh, that's what's new with me. Uh, I'm not going to do any political stuff on here because that's just also exhausting. Um, I will say that I'm... I don't think it's the government's place to mandate vaccines for anyone other than government employees so I'm glad that they really have not done that and I'm glad that any vaccine mandates have come from the private sector um, the company heads themselves uh, including but not limited to Anthony Scaramucci as Bella starts dinner in the other room um, Anthony Scaramucci who was part of the Trump administration mandated vaccines for his hedge fund which was a total and complete surprise for me um, I would not expect someone that was a even for a short term uh, a prominent figure in the Trump administration to mandate vaccines uh, for his private sector company but 
I'm not unhappy about it. Uh, I'm not thrilled that it has come to mandating vaccines uh, for people. And here I go. I said I wasn't going to do politics, but here I am doing it anyway. Uh, I'm not thrilled that it has come to mandating vaccines. I wish, I really, 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 really wish that people would take it upon themselves to get themselves vaccinated um, to the point where we could be done uh, with this horse shit because I'm so tired of COVID. Uh, it's not It's not even funny anymore. Um, it really never was funny, but uh, it is certainly not funny now. I'm really fucking tired of COVID. Um, yeah, we should have. We should have. We should be done with it by now. We really, we really should be done with it by now. But uh, here we are. Uh, fifteen, fifteen months later. No, way more than that. Twenty months later, almost. No, hold on. Twelve, twelve, uh, seventeen months later. Seventeen months later. We're still dealing with it. Anywho. Um, so with JMK and Cat, the Nexu event is really easy, which is really nice because I have never beaten it before this. Uh, so it's nice to finally be done with that in terms of an achievement. Um, I mean, it, it really just makes it audible. I wouldn't auto it, but it kind of does make it audible. So, cool. See you later.